Hey there, so you're thinking about moving to Kearney, Missouri? Well, in this video, we are gonna give you some pros and some cons to living in Kearney, Missouri. And if you stick around to the end, we are gonna give you both of our favorite things about Kearney, Missouri, and you don't wanna miss that. Hey, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Kansas City and places like Kearney, Missouri, then click subscribe, hit that little bell of notifications so you'll be the first to know the current market here in the Kansas City metro area. My name is Zach Morton. My business partner here, Max Jones, the Mojo team and I have been helping people move to Kansas City for over 20 years. We absolutely love it, but you don't have to take our words for it. See what our clients have to say with over 600 five-star Google reviews from people just like you. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, just pick up the phone and give us a call, shoot us a text, shoot us an email, even schedule a Zoom call so we can help you with that seamless transition into the Kansas City market. All that info is in the description below. So here we are, we're talking about Kearney, and let's start with the pros to keep this positive, shall we? What's first on the list? Yeah, so with Kearney, most people that are moving up there are moving up there to get space. A lot of people aren't moving from out of town necessarily to Kearney, but moving from town out to Kearney is what my experience has been. And so the biggest pro for me is the acreage and the big lots and the space that you can get out in Kearney. Yep, that's exactly what I think about it too. It is a little, what is it, about 30 minutes from this kind of the city center? Yeah, I'd say that's about right. You're zipping out that way, so it's a little, little ways out there. And when you hop on the highway, you're going to be drive there's not a lot after you get past liberty just just kind of farmland but when you get there it's a nice little quaint little town and small acreage and that's what i think of too outbuildings people have elbow room yeah they do what they want you want to raise some chickens have a little garden uh, right yeah that's a so it's on the northeast corner of the kansas city metro and uh that's my number two pro oh, is uh chickens <laughs> <laughs> is the outbuildings oh. um, a place to keep your toys yeah. So I don't know about you, but three car garages seem like they're getting smaller and smaller. Yeah. Um, so if you want a four wheeler or a well, razor or um, you know a boat, um, it's tough to do in in town. So a lot of people go out there to get the space for their toys. Yeah, that's funny you said that. One of our agents on our team actually lives in Kearney, and she was out on her four wheeler a couple weeks ago hunting mushrooms. And we were just talking about that. So yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah, and yeah, so the chickens, I didn't think of chickens, but that is awesome. The farm fresh eggs are amazing. Yeah. Um, but it relates to my third item on the pros, which is no homes associations typically. I mean, you will find subdivisions in Kearney that have homes associations, um, but predominantly Kearney is a lot of acreage, three, two, three, four, five, ten acre plot, plots of land, um, lots that, uh, are kind of live and let live you know yeah. you don't have anybody telling you what color you can paint your house and uh, where to put your fence and um, and you know if you can have chickens or not so yeah the uh, it's kind of a live and let live uh, area of town for sure that's yeah with a nice little hub I mean it's not a big downtown by any means but there are some things that kind of bring the community together because it People that live in Kearney absolutely love it, and I feel like it is a pretty tight-knit community. Yeah. Um, you know, even though everybody's got their own space and a lot of elbow room, they might live on acreage that when they do come to town, either grocery stores or a couple restaurants, um, that, you know, everybody really has that strong kind of Kearney bond that keeps them all. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, small town values is kind oh, of, is yeah, one, uh, <laughs> another so one of the pros. Um, where neighbors know their neighbors and they're friendly and they, uh, you know, I wouldn't say there's a, quite a few people and uh, the population of Kearney is 10,000 people. So the, not everybody knows everybody, but, uh, but you do get that small town values vibe um, where people, they love their community and, um, and yeah, I think that's a, that's a big pro about Kearney. Yeah. Last time I was up there, so I was just going into the gas station and somebody opened the door for me and that doesn't typically happen right around my neighborhood. So, I mean, that just shows you just getting a little bit out there, um, that kind of that Southern hospitality. Yeah, even though it's on, the north, on the north side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pros, another pro is really good school system in yeah. Harney. Um, for, you know, sometimes when you get into smaller towns, the schools, um, then there's not as big of a tax base, so they can't offer as many, um, 
amenities and things for their school system, but that is not the case for Kearney. I mean, they have awesome academically, very good um, sc the sports. They offer every sports, football, uh, swimming, basketball, baseball, track and field. I mean, yeah, they have... Uh, and that's something while we're talking about sports too, is when you get outside of a, like the bigger suburbs closer to the city, it's easier for your kids to get on those sport teams or play multiple sports because it's not quite as competitive or there aren't so many kids going for the same position. So that's something to keep in mind too. Yeah, so yeah, for the school, really there's uh, 3,500 kids in the, in the school system. And actually Kearney School District is the largest employer for Kearney. Uh, with over 500, I think 575 employees. A lot of times, 3,500 kids could be just in one high school. Yeah. When you get down uh, in Liberty or Parkville or Johnson County, um, so to have that many kids over the whole district is is a little just kind of like the the lots, you know, a little more space. Yeah. So yeah, Kearney Schools is amazing, um, and then uh, definitely low crime. Yes. If you're, I mean, kind of goes with those small town values, uh, you don't have any crime to speak of. So, um, you know, I think that's probably, probably, you know, the amount of guns in Kearney is probably <laughs> higher than in town too. So maybe those things go hand in hand, but, but yeah, you can, uh, you know, shoot your guns out there and, and raise your chickens and. Yep, trap yeah. shoot, deer hunt, all kinds of stuff out there. So it's yeah. cool, lots of lakes to fish. And, yeah, that's uh, one of the another pros. I keep skipping it. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> it's, a, it's a segue. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's close to Smithville Lake and also close to Lake Viking. Um, and then there's uh, what Watkins Mill, Watkins Mill State Park. Uh, so it's a for outdoors and recreation. Um, if your thing is you know boating or fishing, it's an awesome place to be up yeah. in Kearney. Really great location for that. And then the last pro that we have on our list is uh, there is a fair amount of new construction. It's a growing community. They just added um, a really big price chopper where it used to be a little, a little mom and pop grocery store. Uh, so it is a growing area. And who knows, maybe some of the people that live in Kearney don't see that as a pro um, because it's a changing area. But if your thing is new construction um, and you don't want an older farmhouse, um, then it, there is new construction neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. um, Robertson has uh, has a couple developments in there. Uh, there are a fair, there's a fair amount of new construction in Kearney. Yeah, and we're seeing that. I mean, families like to, if you're raising kids and in schools, some families just like to have that kind of tight knit community. Kids are running up and down the street playing with each other, so it kind of makes sense. And it's it's a pretty good mix. I'd say a little further south down, um, you know, closer to the city center, there's more suburbs. And then as we get away. It's just got a good mix of everything up there. Yeah, yeah. As you go up into Holt, is on the north side of Kearney. It definitely gets more uh, rural, and then uh, as you go to the south side of Kearney towards Liberty, then it gets a little more um, suburban. And I think um, just while we're on this topic too, Kearney is qualified for the USDA financing as well. It does. Yep. So that would be a huge pro. And that what that means is it's not, because it's kind of a rural area. It's a little further out there that you can get 100% financing if you qualify. And you know, it's not a hard loan to qualify for, it's just because of the location. So that's definitely a pro. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> um, well, that brings us to our cons. All right, so, let's take it down a notch. It's stuff you need to know yeah, before you move. Yeah, you need to know the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. And um, I would say the probably the biggest con that jumps off the page to me is there's really not a ton of shopping or nightlife or restaurants. Um, if, if you're looking for amenities um, that, would, that would normally come with being in a happening, bustling area, mm -hmm. you're not gonna really find that in Cardi. Uh, there's a couple restaurants, Stables is a restaurant, and then uh, gosh, there's a few of them up there, but, um, but yeah, there's a pumpkin patch. Yeah, there's a pumpkin <laughs> patch. <laughs> That's back to the pros. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, there is a there. There is entertainment and things to do, but um, but you get it. It's kind of a it's a kind of a country lifestyle. So if you want to go shopping, then your butt needs to get on the highway and head down to Liberty, and that'd be your closest place yeah. to find even your big box stores like Home Depot and Lowe's and that sort the of movie thing. Movie theaters, sporting goods stores. 
Yeah. Right. Uh, re more restaurants. You got a pretty good variety of restaurants you guys have in Liberty, so. Which is probably a 10 minute, 10, 15 minute drive to Liberty. Yeah. Um, so it's not bad. It's just, uh, you know, if you're looking for like walkability to the store, that's not, that's not Carney. You better have a, yeah. better have a vehicle to go up and down the gravel roads and that sort of thing. Or your horse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do they ride the horses? I don't. Carney? Yeah, I mean, somebody does. That's what people from the east and west coast think about. We were all in Missouri. We farmers were, and horse riding horses. Yeah, yeah, ride tractors to school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, not not the case here. No, we uh, have combust internal combustion <laughs> engines. <laughs> so yeah, kind of the pros were related to the cons. Yeah, they but, always are a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So um, it kind of depends on what your what your flavor is, what you're looking for. But if you're looking for proximity to the airport. Um, and the Carney's not ideal because uh, it's not too far by the way the, the crow flies, but actually to get there, you've got to go down south to Liberty, hop on 152, cruise all the way west to I-29, then go back up north because Smithville Lake is right in the way. Uh, yeah, from just country cruising. roads and all that stuff just shoot across. It just doesn't make sense. So yeah, every bit of 30 minutes to the airport. The highway though, I will say it, it's never heavily trafficked. I-35 is the, kind of the one that shoots it from Liberty up to Kearney. And it's it's not heavily trafficked. You will see semis and stuff on its two lanes because it's kind of a highway that takes you out into Iowa and kind of runs on up. But for the most part, there's just a couple semis and there's never any traffic on it. So it is an easy commute into the Liberty area. Uh, before you hit any traffic to speak of. Yeah, traffic, if you're looking to avoid traffic, then that's a good thing about Kearney, is there's not a ton of it. Yeah. Um, but uh, the drive time to, you know, if you're if you're commuting, uh, it's all clear on the northeast corridor of Kansas City, so it's not a centrally locate, located place. Uh, so if drive time to other areas in the city are important to you, or if you work in Overland Park, um, that could be a problem. Yeah, you'll be putting some serious time in behind the wheel. Yeah, keeping the highway hot. <laughs> uh, not walkable, not really much public transportation right. to speak of either. So I, I don't know if there's a bus system. I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. I've never heard anybody talk about it. There may be, but... We have an Uber. Yeah. Uh, so everybody's got an Uber, but the... Uh, I think Carney, you could probably pick up an Uber driver, but I don't think there's a ton of them circling around there. Yeah. For the, yeah, for the most part, once you get kind of um, away from the city center by about 10 minutes or so, just everybody, for the most part, has a car and doesn't really use public transportation. Yeah, or we just don't see a lot of it, so. Um, not a ton of cons about Kearney, but I will say that most of the time when you get out in a rural area, the taxes are dramatically lower. Um, and there's a reason for that. There, there's not as much many roads, there's not as many, the schools aren't as good. Um, so there's not as much stuff to pay for, and so the taxes are quite a bit cheaper. But um, Kearney d doesn't have dramatically lower taxes um, because they there is you know the school system is phenomenal. So um, the you know surrounding areas like Lathrop or uh, Plattsburgh or Holt uh, will have uh, Excelsior Springs even will have yeah. quite a bit lower taxes as far as. Uh, your personal property tax, your real estate taxes, the sales tax, um, they're a little bit higher. I wouldn't say high, but relative to other rural areas, uh, there'd be higher taxes there. But, you know, then again, your property values are, are higher too, right. which, you know, also kind of has that. I mean, Kearney's a really desirable spot. Um, I'd say when I think of little towns on the outskirts, Carney's probably one of the, at least in the Northland, Carney's that one that people are really always excited about and talking about. It comes up a lot more than Lathrop or Excelsior. Or, um, I don't know if you think of anything else up in. I mean, it's kind of like Platte City in a way. Platte yeah. City's bigger um, and more of a, I don't know, seems like more traffic and yeah. um, a little closer in. So, uh, yeah, I mean, um, Smithville's bigger, it's different than Carney. But yeah, for the Northland, I think it's one of the most desirable areas as far as getting out a little bit out into the country. Yep, I agree. So um, that does it for our pros and cons yeah. list. Now we just got to give you our favorites. We got to deliver Personal favorites. Yeah, all that's the right. All the promise. So go ahead, Max. I'll let you go first. Um, 
I've got some, a couple different favorite things about Carney. Uh, the, I, we did a, I did a vlog video um, taking you guys around and showing you a few different homes in Kearney and I revealed a favorite thing at the end of that video. So tune into that video yeah, like if, that. You're, uh, if you're really wanting to dig into the details about Kearney. So I'll share a different one uh, for this video. Uh, the, and you mentioned it earlier, um, the pumpkin patch up there oh, I'm sorry. in Carney <laughs> is a great place to go. I mean, it is kind of a zoo in that time of year, but in the fall, um, it's one of our family's favorite things to do is go up and spend some time at the pumpkin patch. It's not just a farm full of, <laughs> full of pumpkins. Um, it is a whole experience that they've created where, um, they've got things for the kids to play on and, uh, you know, I mean, it's a little town set up and different animal rides and you can pick out your pumpkins and your gourds and you can uh, rent a fire pit and they'll um, fill it up with wood for you and um, you can roast marshmallows and yeah. drink apple cider. It is uh, really a great time um, up at the pumpkin patch in Kearney. So yeah. uh, it's called the Fun Farm if you're looking for it. And it's just a little bit on the north side of Kearney. Uh, but that's I, that's one of my favorite things about Carney. Yeah, that's a good one. Mine is Watkins Mill State Park, and that's a, a nice big state park up there that we've gone frequent, especially when we had little kids. You can camp up there. There's a couple lakes. There's the old mill that you can take a tour of, and then there's paved trails. I think there's some gravel trails too, but for the most part, it's paved. So you can ride your bike, push a stroller. We used to go up there when the kids were little and kind of spend a day up there and. Uh, Actually, I have a really good story about uh, my, my most fondest memory of that is right before we were getting ready to go up there that morning, wake up out of bed. I think I had a, a kid in a baby swing still, and then my daughter was like three, and I wake up to, uh, she's feeding him Tylenol. Oh my gosh. While he's sleeping, like half a bottle of children's Tylenol. So we're like on the phone with poison control, and they're like, yeah, it's, it's fine, it's just half a bottle. <laughs> he had a Tylenol running down his face, and then that day we went up to Watkins Mill, and. Did the track and it's been about you know five miles and everybody turned out just fine yeah i no, think so far <laughs> yeah so. jeez that's scary yeah and it was scary <laughs> <laughs> yeah that uh watkins mill is really cool i've, yeah. I've sold a uh, an acreage property that adjoined watkins mill and so i think it was only about 10 acres but it felt like hundreds of acres because it was adjoined to that uh state park yeah they did a really good job keeping it nice and mowed and even that little tour of the, of the old mill is pretty cool too in the history. And they got the boiler, I think, that came off an old paddle boat that was going down the river and somehow that paddle boat sank and they grabbed the boiler and they brought it over to the mill and hooked it up and made it mill stuff. So, I don't know. Hmm. A lot of cool history. I'm learning something He's new. You've been learning something <laughs> right now. <laughs> so anyway, definitely worth checking out <laughs> when you're up there at your pumpkin patch. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> old pumpkin patch. I'm in. Uh, headed that way here in a couple months. All right. Well, I think that pretty much concludes it, right? Yeah. All yep. Right. We've covered the pros. We've covered the cons. Um, definitely tune in to the vlog video. Uh, and then also I'm, I'm doing a map video um, that will be released soon too. And uh, check that out. So you can uh, you know check out the pros and cons, the map, the vlog. And then if you have any more questions, you can reach out to us and we're happy to, happy to help you and answer any questions you have about Carney. Uh, one more thing though, is a lot of people pronounce it Kearney. And so that's a dead giveaway if that we know you're from out of town, if you call it Kearney. So it's Kearney. And what do they call people from Kearney? <laughs> Kearneys? <laughs> Kearneys. But not because there's a carnival there. Right. I know. But uh, yeah, it's a pronounced Kearney. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks. Thanks for being here.